Hello and thank you for joining us for this parent video we have created for Washington County Public School student athletes. We have created this video to help discuss some of the expectations for student athletes at Washington County during their sports seasons. Each athletic director from the respective high schools will introduce themselves along with Dr. Barry Yost to speak from an official's perspective and Mr. Brad Bussey from the athletic trainer's perspective. Hello, I'm Sarah Helton and I'm the Athletic Director at Patrick Henry High School. My name is Bradley Ricker, Athletic Director at John Battle High School. I'm Mr. Travis Gray, the Athletic Director at Holston High School. My name is Jeff Johnson, I'm the Athletic Director here at Abingdon High School. I'm going to go over a few expectations for parents uh, during sporting events. Sitting in the stands during a sporting event can be difficult. You're the biggest fan of your child and it's expected that you will cheer them on during the competition. There are a few expectations that need to be discussed in order to ensure everyone at the event is practicing sportsmanship. We all know kids are going to make mistakes and officials are going to miss calls. Coaches are going to not call what you think is the correct play. That is not your job to communicate that during the contest. Although you may have extensive knowledge of the sport, your role as a parent is to be supportive and model sportsmanship for the young student athletes. It's important for all parties involved to do their part not step out of, out of those boundaries. The lessons our student athletes are learning are not limited to the field or court. Here are a few tips on how you can help manage your emotions while attending a sporting event. Thank you. Today I'll talk to you guys about the VHSL eligibility rules. First off, students must have passed five out of eight of the credits from their previous semester. If students are on a four by four schedule, for example, Holston High School, they must have passed three out of those four classes. Students must be enrolled in three new courses on a block schedule in the present semester. All athletes must have a current physical on file dated after May 1st of that current school year. And no athlete can turn the age of 19 before August 1st. I'm here to talk a few things about communication throughout the county. Uh, one of the things for athletics to succeed in Washington County, we really would like to pursue good communication between the student athletes, the parents, administration, coaches. Um, got a few rules with those things. One of the big rules that we have is the 24-hour rule. After a ball game, we do not like to talk about playing time, coaching, any philosophies with coaching. We like to put that off for at least 24 hours. Nothing good can happen from coaches and parents or even administration talking about a ball game especially after a loss or a big win so we like to really follow the whole county follows the 24-hour rule uh, next again we really like communication we would like for the first question that when a parent has to administrator is has your son or daughter communicated with the coach if it's about playing time we like for ask the son or daughter to communicate with the coach discuss it uh, be able to come back and have a reason for the playing time, not just they're just not playing. Um, so the first thing that we would like for you to do is to preach to your son or daughter to talk to the coach yourselves. If that doesn't solve a issue, then administration athletic directors would love to have your call. You're welcome to call and set up an appointment and come in and talk to the coaches. But again, we do push and would like to have full communication from our student athletes, parents, administration, and coaches. Uh, also, in our videos coming out, every school has their own social media platform. Please be following that for schedule changes to communication about games to everything that you need. I'm going to be discussing insurance for all student athletes. All participants, including managers and student trainers, must be protected by school insurance or have personal insurance that will cover any athletic injury. The participant's parent guardian must sign the acknowledgement of risk and insurance statement designating that the participant has appropriate accident insurance coverage. The school carries insurance up to $10,000 maximum benefit to cover the student athletic injuries and other school-related accidents. Additionally, the parent or guardian may purchase additional school-offered insurance. Policy benefits are not payable for any expenses incurred which are paid or payable by other valid and collectible insurance. Student accident coverage is secondary to any other primary insurance, including Medicaid or private health insurance. Student accident supplemental insurance claims must be submitted within 90 days of documented injury. Claims submitted after 90 days may be denied. A portion of this form may be filled out by head coach. 
return all completed insurance claim forms to the secretary in the main office where he or she will submit the documentation to VACorp and will receive a claim number. Once you are issued a claim number, VACorp will be in contact with you concerning your child's injury claim. For those of you that don't know me, uh, my name's Brad Bussey. I am one of the athletic trainers here in Washington County. Uh, this is my 26th year serving as an athletic trainer in Washington County. I also teach uh, the sports medicine class at the Career and Technical Center. Uh, they've asked me to talk this afternoon on some continued requirements uh, that are still necessary for athletics. Uh, first is the physical requirements. There are no changes to that. Uh, Virginia High School League did not grant an extension or an extra year, so each athlete has to have a valid physical prior to uh, participation in athletics in any way, shape, or form. Uh, the second thing is concussion training. Uh, that is a requirement per the state law. Uh, that has not changed. We have the concussion training videos for the parents and for the student athletes loaded on the website. Uh, parents, you can sign up for multiple children uh, at the same time so that you do not have to do it uh, multiple times, uh, but that is a requirement, parents and students alike. Uh, the last thing, uh, we are very fortunate. We have three athletic trainers uh, in the county currently. Uh, we like to hear about injuries or anything that may be bothering your son or daughter uh, sooner rather than later. Uh, even if it may appear minor, a lot of times if we hear about things early on, we can make minor adjustments uh, in practice schedule or we can do something to correct the issue before it does become a problem uh, long term. The last thing that I want to mention in this current environment, um, I can't stress enough, regardless of how we feel, we have to do the right things outside of school. Uh, we need to be wearing masks, we need to be social distancing need to be washing our hands and uh, do want to stress that if your son or daughter uh, were to experience any symptoms please don't have them hide, hide that uh, please stress to them the importance of letting us know uh, we would much rather uh, have an athlete uh, be tested find out the results and uh, take the appropriate steps instead of ending up with uh, an entire team shut down for an extended period of time hello my name is barry yost I've been in education for 35 years, a teacher, a coach, a principal, and a central office supervisor. This will be my 35th year of officiating high school sports. I've officiated football, basketball, softball, and volleyball. Officials undertake an important role in athletic contests. They provide leadership and guidance to participants, ensuring that the competition is conducted in a safe and fair manner. All of this is encompassed within the rules of the game. The enforcement of the rules is the sole judgment of the officials. They must enforce the rules within the flow of the athletic contest. Enforcement of the rules can occur within a split second and based upon the vantage point of the official. It may appear that the call was missed. Officiating athletic contest is the only thing that I've done in my life that people expect perfection from the time you begin. We all need to keep in mind that all officials are human and we, we need to maintain control and sportsmanship. I really enjoy working a hard, hard fought game with a large crowd, but more importantly, I like to work a game where all spectators, coaches, and players compete and act in a sportsmanlike manner. Because at the end of the day, high school sports provide a competitive learning environment and sportsmanship should be at the top of the list. Throughout the United States, there is a shortage of high school sports officials. If you're interested in becoming a high school official, please contact your high school athletic director. To become an official, you will need to attend rule and mechanics meetings, attend on-field trainings, and pass tests prior to working athletic contests.